So uh, before we before we start, you guys remember this? Do you guys remember this um, this like comic cinematic that Blizzard released, where at the very end of it, it was um, Anduin and Prophet Velen, and they were standing, and and uh, Prophet Velen tells Anduin, "It's time. This is the final battle. Um, are you ready?" And Anduin, all of a sudden, we look to him in the comic strip, and Anduin looks like he's, you know, like seventy years old or something. Maybe maybe late sixties. He's all grayed out and everything. Do you guys remember this thing? I've been thinking about it. I've thought about it, you know, a lot ever since it happened. And I used to think, oh, when is this going to happen? When are we going to see gray aged Anduin? Well, according to Doran, he believes it's going to be very soon. Ex- activity for the day is a normal full clear. That's what we're going to do right after this. An old man, and he was about to embark in the final battle between the Light and the Void, which would be pretty much like the culmination of all the Warcraft lore that he's been building up for decades. Then Blizzard came out, told us well, this Creeper, is just one of the possibilities. You're in the right place. And at the time, we believed we do this both was almost completely retconned. Welcome However, in. now we have Anduin actually missing. And if we learn that anything from Tyrellian, it is that you can be gone for a decade while a crew hundreds of years of experience which could definitely justify the old man's stature we have a lot of bronze dragonflight lore where they're fighting <laughs> for maintaining one single timeline Heroic a bitch. That this could be one and we also have a high likelihood of the void returning could with be a potential void invasion in the very near future now with and- could be really anything uh, we could carry some people today and in mysterious disappearance could we be heading for that timeline and the final and the ultimate battle realistically the- like if you guys are looking to buy Dragonflight up, or anything Warcraft related, Gamiibo has some amazing sales that you can check out with my link. On top of that, you can get software, gift cards, various games at crazy prices. First of all, you can use my code DORON to He's add Doran. yet another discount to your purchase. So make sure code. to click my link below, check out Gamiibo, and grab some amazing deals. So, Anduin has essentially disappeared yeah, Danny boy, no problem. with very unclear Thanks for goals, like we really have no idea what is going on. He was a part of the jailer, was under strict mind control, and as we broke him free, he was never really the same. Not only was he under strict mind control, he was he was one of the hardest raid bosses we've Come, ever dealt with. Let us lay waste to this Creeper, realm. thank you for the follow and welcome to our scourge. Man, that Anduin fight was a bitch. You guys remember how long we were stuck on that fight? Holy he shit. He needed time for himself, he needed to learn who he is, and for some Sepulchre reason he of the also first decided to help out Sylvanas tough. in the mall, or at least to talk with her. Now, everything about this has been super weak. We don't actually know what he's been doing, what he's learning, but honestly, well, we're gonna get We're gonna get that heroic that kill a couple more times I think before Blizzard the doesn't know no what to do with Anduin, but it's more like he already knew what we're about to learn soon, and he needs time to prepare for it and yeah, to save just Azeroth a couple, just like his fine. father with him. As fine. all of you know, Anduin was mind controlled by Zomal and he was used as a pawn, and in my opinion, with his closeness to him, I'm pretty sure he was let in on some secrets, maybe not intentionally, and what the Jailer's goals were, because we actually never learned what the Jailer's goals were. Sylvanas was also a pawn, and she knew that this world is a prison, and a few other cosmological shenanigans that are still a secret that are now being thrown out way that are honestly starting to make at least a bit more sense as we discover more old god and more titan documents the jailer was fighting this what is to come this clip yeah what is to come we still don't know massive threat that steve the Newser in a very recent interview a little, a little steve bit. the Newser in a little bit odd come. that he's talking about what is to come and he's on his this knees. This cliffhanger, some insanely massive threat that Steve Denuser in a very recent interview said that Nazoth is also aware of this and he's focusing on it right now when we have new Nazoth Whisperers. This means that the cliffhanger we were left with at the end of Shadowlands is definitely at least going to unravel a bit in Dragonflight. Now my guess is that Andy due to his proximity to this massive cosmological being, the Jailer, probably was in on some vision or he knew at least to some extent what was actually going on. He I wonder how much Andrew would remember from that time. It just cannot be described oh, in words. God, this and he decided to go into the mall. What they did to Arthas. Else he is I'll never to forgive him. Knowledge and to figure out a strategy. Before the dragon fight, it was confirmed that five years had passed since the start of Shadowlands, but approximately three years had gone since we had sentenced Sylvanas and since Anduin went into his self-exile. Now, 
now. Since then, we had received only one hint, and that was right at the start of the dragon fight. We had a conversation with Gen, where they talked about the reports they had actually received right. on Anduin and where he actually is. All of it is purposefully vague because no one actually knows where he is. It is kind of set up as a situation where he'll be found when he wants to be found. And apparently, there had been a few spy reports and sightings. King Julian will try Anduin, tomorrow but after reset. Was actually complete. Today. At the moment, we don't really know where he is. Some say he's in the mall, but it is possible that he may have returned somewhere on Azeroth, especially because we have these spy reports, and I honestly doubt they would send spies directly into the mall. Now, during yes. that time, Trellian has been leading the alliance for essentially five years now, which you think this, about... This is still going to play out as something. I guarantee you, Trellian's a loose cannon. He's, he's wise, but he's very warforged, I would say. The man believes war is the way, and, you know, and his way is the way. We'll see how the alliance uh, heads into the next uh, couple patches and into the future. But it is actually longer than Andrew and his being king, which for the sake of interesting future story development, kind of gives him more legitimacy than yeah, the maybe. actual king has. But that is not for another video. This brings us to the comic we got about five years back or a bit more, known as the Son of the Wolf, that used to be one of the biggest speculations for what is going to happen to WoW. Some people believe this is going to be the ending of WoW, and at the time, we believed this to be the Redcon, but WoW. now, with the most recent information, it could totally become a reality. So, we have a scene in a... This is it. This is what I was talking about. That comic that was released. This is what Anduin looked like at the end of that comic. Potential future where Anduin Brim is an old man and he rereads his father's last letter before Varian fell in yep, the battle the against BFA the Legion, and he realizes I mean, the there Legion is letter, one sorry. more battle to be fought, the biggest battle ever, the deciding one. Aboard the Exodar, Velen informs the old man High King Anduin that there will never be an opportunity like this again, as in once in hundreds of thousands of years. And as Anduin right. remembers his father, Velen says that the light will triumph over the shadow this day. Now keep in mind, things have kind of changed. At the time, light and the voice. I was gonna say, back when that comic came out, though, we still saw the light is good and the shadow is evil. And now, uh, there's much more nuance to those two. So do we want the light to conquer the shadow, or do we want balance between the two? Seem to be the main forces, the, the main ladder. focus of the WoW lore, this entire dynamic. Since then, Blizzard kind of changed the lore a bit, and we got to focus more on the first ones, the other cosmological forces. So this final battle between the Light and the Void may be a thing, but not like in the literal sense of the word. While the Light and the Void do exist as separate cosmological forces, it could kind of be a figure of a speech, as in forces of order and chaos battling each other, because technically the six forces right. can really be split into two groups, kind of the bright side, the order ones, and really the dark and the chaos one. Now, at the time, Blizzard sort of half retconned this thing. They told us that this comic is a possible future that may or may not All happen. Right, there right, are many right, possibilities right. with the alternate timelines that it is... One, a one of the timelines. It's just one of them. Will it come to pass? ...an ending to one timeline that may not end up being the actual one. At the time, they kind of throw a curveball our way. We believe this to be completely retconned as they forgot about it. But with the recent Dragon of Flight lore, this might just be back on the table. We got a lot of signs. Now, we have Anduin missing, and he's timeline sort of, of in a time loop where he may become older. We have the Infinite and the Bronze... It's weird that he would become older, because if you remember, in Shadowlands, we come back to Azeroth, and supposedly more time has passed than we felt when we were in the Shadowlands. It, that's how the lore works, that there's been, you know, more time has passed in Azeroth than did in Shadowlands. So technically, for when Anduin comes back from the mall, he should be younger than us. But hey, maybe some infinite dragon flight shit happens. Those dragons sort of battling each other to the death for the real know. timeline, and we have the potential return of the old gods and the void Wild gods, Lord which, is flexible. in my opinion, really seems learn. like a setup for this scenario. So let's address all these aspects and see how realistic this scenario could be. So in regards to this aging thing, Blizzard has been super vague about it. Time actually does pass differently in the Shadowlands, but they told us it is not exactly like a black hole science fiction thing where like a hundred year passes in the course of a single day on Azeroth, but it could be a slight thing. We personally returned from the Shadowlands. We didn't exactly return as seniors, but who actually knows where Anduin is? He may not even be in the Shadowlands as far as we know it. These black yep, hole true. time travel things, these science fiction that Blizzard mentions, are 100% a thing in the lore. I mean, we have Trevelyan that was gone for like a few decades on Azeroth, and he spent like hundreds of years with a ton of battle experience fighting for the Army of the Light. So right. the reality that Anduin could return as an old man is 100% a legit possibility. Now, the second point we have is, at the moment, we're <laughs> yeah. kind of at the culmination of 
time true. travel. And we all feel older from playing Basically, Shadowlands. Basically, from a new place of the interview, we learned that the Bronze Dragons are Titan affiliated and they're fighting for an ordered timeline, one that the Titans like, while the Infinite Dragons are fighting for many possibilities, which is kind of the prerequisite of free will when you think about right. it. At the yeah, moment, true. this story is in really early stages, but this could totally be a hint for what Blizzard said all those years back about how this is one of the possibilities. Additionally, with all this time travel stuff, this scenario with Anduin could also be like an instance similar to End Time, where we had Deathwing back in Cataclysm, so it may not be the main storyline, but it could be future content in some expansion. Now, lastly, as you may know, that if you've been following the lore, we have a ton King of Juliet. old god hints, I think we've and got old hints. there are new old god whispers, That's there are new old god hilarious. documents that talk about hidden continents, the fifth old gods, the old gods changing their plans, possibly yeah, even yeah. having succeeded in the corruption of Azeroth. So, there is a very high likelihood that we may be facing a void onslaught in the very near future, and with Trellian leading the alliance, we could have the army of light on our side. So really, this possibility of a light and a void battle could definitely could, turn into yeah. reality with the way the things are being set up. It may not be such a black and white battle. The light versus the void could be one of the aspects. No, hey, we have the light on our side, but then where do the void elves stand? I mean, we literally have elves that are all like, you know, about the void. It's just, it's an odd thought to think light versus dark, and we are the light and they are the dark. I don't know. But so this battle, but that could There's so much more to it now than there used to be, like, could return to 10 years ago in WoW. Seeing that he Even might five years ball, ago. Unfortunately, this could also bring back Sylvanas, which really no it's one wants right. to see at this point. Furthermore, with all these shades of grey being thrown our way and Anduin being a priest, there could definitely be a storyline where Anduin might start wielding the powers yep. of the Void, similar to Void Elves, and just wielding the Void for the good of Azeroth. Additionally, there's also a possibility that the Vision may have been something that the Light Beings want to happen that could definitely be biased, similar to the recent Titan things we had learned about how they're yeah, kind of forcing the rules the upon us. However, and doing as one of the main characters of the entire Warcraft universe and Warcraft as a whole is bound to return in the very near future, and that old comic vision seems more likely than ever before. Thank you for watching. Check out what 10.1 yeah, new Anduin, members of Anduin's the coming back. We know that. On the screen, That's a guarantee. Check out the for videos of real world history. See you next time. How old he is or how fucked up he is when he gets back? We'll see. I don't know. Maybe he comes back. Maybe he comes back and him and Sylvanas had children together. How about that? Little Manduin Sylvanas babies. Anduin Windrunners. <laughs>